You are in a creepy mansion. You look around, you hear some noises. What was that? And suddenly, just out of the corner, you hear Boo! With an exclamation point. Boo! Yeah, the, the artwork here really doesn't seem scary at all, and that is not the intent either. Uh, you play as a ghost, and you are tired of all this tourists going on and you don't want to have them around so you want to scare them away. Uh, the problem is you are not the only ghost in the castle. You have more ghosts and you want to see okay who can scare the most tourists in the most original way. So you want to scare them away and you want to, you want to do it in a new fashion. Uh, now <laughs> when you see the next uh, image here after this intro you will recognize this game quite easily. It... Yes I have an audience today. This will be like, was it the ghost? This reminds of Ricochet Robots in many ways, but it is not the same game. So let's just check out Boo with an exclamation point. So here you have the skeleton of the castle, well, the borders. Then you take these tiles here, you shuffle them up and you put them out randomly. Uh, there's one thing important though, and that is to have the same orientation. So the top left number here, just have it pointing to the white, towards the white tower in the castle. And this is important to make certain corridors here in the game. And we need the corridors to move freely around. Without them, we will probably get stuck early. So, now we have the stack of tourists here, based on the number of players. And it's sorted by number from one and ascending order below. So before you start, we choose a number from one to four. And this number will dictate which, uh, how, which the placement is going to work. So let's say 2 for this instance. So we flip the tile, we'll look at the 2 slot here. So I find the green shield and the blue portrait. So green shield and the blue portrait. Here we go. Now the goal is to get this ghost from here to the tourist place. And using only one color. So, Q ricochet robots, almost. So, what you want to do is to get this ghost from here and down to the tourist here. So, to do this, you choose a color. And this color enables you to go through the walls of that color. So, let's say white. You can go through here. Magic. Well, it is ghosts. And you can also go in here, but then it's kind of a dead end because there's no way out. So, I go back. And I can go in here, in this room. And this token allows me to change the color for the rest of the move. So, let's say blue. I can go out here, and through here, and even here, and now I'm almost back where I started. But this doesn't really help, because I'm not allowed to touch this piece. I'm I can't touch anything here until I say a color. And then I kind of announce that I have found a solution. So, can you see a solution here? Well, I can. I say, boo, to indicate it's my... Well, I found a solution. And I say red. So I exit here, I follow the corridor, there's probably another way as well. Oh, I see two ways now, but I'm going to stick to this, here, here, through this, use the uh, shortcut, go down here, out this way, and into the tourist. Boo! Now it's mine. I also get this token here, which indicates I'm not allowed to use red anymore, as long as I have this one. If you later receive the red, uh, find a solution with red, you can say so, and if it works, you take the token from me. Now the game ends when one player has three of these tokens, or a set number of these. I think it's five, but it might be dependent on the number of players. Now then, we choose the next token, and remember, the number is two. So two is a green shield and green portrait, it goes here. So, that's the game. Now I need to find a way from here to there. Can you do it? And that is BOO! With an exclamation point. Yeah, I know. I kind of don't understand exclamation points in games, but in this case, I will accept it because BOO! It's scary. And it's really not, because the artwork here is cute, the colors are very bright and uh, contrasty, so I do really enjoy this artwork. Uh, so, it is obvious that I need to compare this with Ricochet Robots, which is a game I really like as well. Uh, the thing about Ricochet Robot is, uh, if you play with someone who really knows the game, you will lose. Because Ricochet Robots have four pieces that they put in, and they are all squared and uh, easy identifiable. And it's you can easily find, well not easily, but with practice, 
you can find patterns among these tiles. And when you know these patterns, you just see, okay, I have this angle here, so I need to find this. Aha, here it is. And okay, so three. And you will lose. That's not so fun. Uh, you need to play with someone who is of the same uh, experience level of, as you in the game. Uh, this might happen here as well, but here there is more chaos, I think, in the patterns. And it isn't about finding the shortest route, you just need to find a route using these colors. So if you are good at this game, you will just, okay, I find white, got this token, you find orange, this token. But now you have limited yourself. You can't use these colors. Uh, I'm sorry, you can't use these colors. And maybe the solution is only among these colors. So I like that aspect of the game as well. That you kind of, the, the better you are, the more uh, handicap you receive, or not handicap, the more, the less handicap you receive, kind of. And the other players will receive handicap based on your experience. And then you enjoy that. Also, it's random with the locations here, based on numbers. Each token here has a set location they can get. But even though it always goes here, uh, for every four you have on the token, the setup will be totally different. So I really enjoy that of the game. And it's in order to make sure that the spread is even, that you don't get one here and the next round it's there. So you want to have one here and maybe the next one here. And that is decided by the shields and portraits, which are always the same location. So this game, uh, I will decide to keep along with Ricochet Robots because I do enjoy both uh, much. Uh, this one has better artwork, it's cuter and well, it just it's a bit different. So they do the same thing up here, but still it's, it's a bit different feel, especially with these tokens, which you can move around, you can even flip them around to have more color change or more passages. It's up to you, you can even remove them all if you want. That is totally up to you and uh, how bad you want to be. Or, or you can even add two tokens here and you say, well, I know the game, so I cannot use this, but you can. That is also an option. So there are many ways to mitigate uh, experience in this game, and I, I do enjoy that. So uh, that was Boo from Christophe Cantier and Blackrock Games. Uh, I can highly recommend this one, especially if you like Ricochet Robots, you will love this game as well. And they are just different enough to, uh, well, to get both, I think. But I, I like these games. Okay, thank you for watching. And uh, as always, please check out my Patreon account at uh, patreon.com slash And you can support me there financially. You can also vote on the next video I'm going to produce or uh, game I'm going to review. And I really appreciate all the support I can get, especially comments. Yeah, I love comments about the review and what you think is good and bad and just... Yeah, just say hi also. So, thanks for now, and thanks for watching, and have fun booing or gaming. See ya. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top rated audio podcast at dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching the Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.